Yes, sir. She's all loaded up. Just look at this thing. Look at the rig, boys. I mean, this thing is a camping SOB. You come over here, you open this guy up. Got all the fishing stuff, a cooler, camping stuff, a stove. You look back here, we got all the bags, a few fishing rods, camera gear, more bags, just a lot of stuff. We're packed tight in taco. And then we look over here at this mother trucker. What? You got something to say? Well, Slay Daddy's here. Sam, <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing right we now? We are making our way over to Wisconsin for some fishing. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I don't know if John said it or not, I'm supposed to say that we're meeting up with NB Edits. <laughs> and there's a mommy car behind us. Dude, didn't know you were driving too. That's literally the mommy car. Oh God, yeah. Well, um, yeah, like I said, we're going over to Wisconsin. We're gonna be filming some camping trips and then also some fishing. Hopefully we can catch some big walleyes. I'm here to break my PB and I know John is too. I would like a 30 incher. Um, that would be pretty epic. John, uh, I think his PB is like 28 20 inches. 28. 20, so we just gotta get one over 21 for him. And uh, we'll Jeez, be on the road. this guy, this guy's clowning. Ugly, <laughs> ugly. What, what are you, what was that? <laughs> All right, so as Sam was saying, yeah, we're going to Wisconsin to meet up with the boys. NBA, yeah, that's going to spend a whole weekend camping, the brand new tent and fishing and just doing all sorts of nonsense, maybe even a little bit of war zone. Right now, we are currently in Minneapolis, Minnesota, stopping to get some gas. We still have like four hours of drive, guys. Like Nick and Brandon live super, super way north Wisconsin, and we live like eastern South Dakota. So it's about like a seven and a half hour drive for us. So this thing's a send. The boys have been clapping a lot of fish up there. Last weekend was their opener and I'll pop up some pictures right here of all the fish that they caught and I mean they've been absolutely laying the hammer down up there. Sam and I are going to go up there and probably the bite's just going to be done. That's just that's just how it works you know. So the plan is we're getting some gas right now then we'll get back on the road. We're going to meet Brandon at his work actually where I got this truck at. So we're going to go back there do a little family reunion with the truck and all that stuff and then I think we might go to Walmart pick up some camping supplies that we'll need for the whole weekend and then go back to Brandon's house tonight. Then tomorrow we're going to actually head out go fishing and camp tomorrow night. So you guys just stay tuned. We're gonna film an epic camping series here. You're not gonna miss it. Oh God. Jeez. Why am I here? back? We're back at we're back at square one, oh, dude. Oh yeah, the boys are back in town. Forgot you got the old truck here. Yeah, huh? dude. So bad news. I just I'm I'm done with this already. I want something new. So you gotta hook me up. That's why we're ah, really here. Yeah. Okay. This is okay. a curveball to the fans. So no camping, no fishing, just strictly here for a new truck. I like it. And more zone. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. That's fair. Even That's better. fair. Catch some dubs and get a new truck. I like it. What do you think of the setup dude, right here? Because you haven't seen nice. this. This I mean, nice. it's I've compact right now. I've only seen photos. True. I have not gotten to see the full effect. I'm excited actually to get up in here and do a little camping and stuff like that. Let me see oh, back check here this too. Out. Check I this gotta out. see these. Because you haven't seen, I installed these as soon as I left. Oh, dude. yeah. Oh, holy cow. Look how deep they go, dude. You can fit so much stuff in here. That's so nice. Oh, I know, dude. Like, I have all my, this is like my camping like drawer and then that drawer is my fishing drawer. All right, so as you guys can tell, we made the send over here, seven and a half hours, Sam and I just freaking just sent it. So we're here, as you can see, there there he is, the man, myth, the legend, Brandon. He's the guy that we're gonna be fishing with this weekend. He's our guide for the weekend. Well, You're the hold guide. Up, hold up. No, oh hold God, up, here hold we up. go, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Nick is the guide. You're I just, just happened to tag along and slay some fish yeah. and help you guys out. Yeah, Nick's our other buddy. You guys have seen him a bunch. He actually is working right now. Gosh dang it, Nick. He's done later tonight, so you won't see him until either super late tonight or early tomorrow morning. But we got here and we're debating either going fishing right now or going back to the house and playing Warzone. It's about 50-50, I'd say right now. I don't really know, but you guys just stay tuned. It's gonna get good. Welcome back guys, John from Mindac here. We are here at the local Walmart. This Walmart actually looks pretty freaking sick. I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen a Walmart like this before. Like, look at that, it looks like a Cabela's looking, I don't it even know, yeah. is it? It does look like Cabela's and like, look, nature. Right not sure. Well, this is your big old Walmart, eh? Yeah, I mean, uh, it slaps, I'd say. I don't know, I, I love it down in South Dakota, but it's so different here. I mean, like, like you said, this is nature. Like you're right here in the woods, basically. Like there's literally this gigantic store in the woods. We're, we're, we're stopping at Walmart to get some essentials and I think we decided we're just gonna take her easy at night because we have the whole weekend to fish. We're just gonna chill and camp tonight so you guys stay tuned. So we are getting some vegetables. Some for like maybe some catch and cooks or fish tacos. So we need some peppers, some bell peppers right there. Where? Oh yeah. Right Where should get the chopped ones right yeah, right there. Perfect. Onions you too. Onions? Oh, this everything. is perfect. That's, that's, that's All right. This is good taco material. 
think some shredded lettuce would be good. Right there, the iceberg. iceberg. You, want this you want the ice iceberg. iceberg, bro. Oh god, yeah. Dump it in. Woo nice. Okay, we got that. Uh, let's get some breading for the fish. All right, Brando, we're gonna let you choose the breading for the fish that we Brandon, hopefully you catch. Some pineapple juice for tonight? No, no pineapple juice. <laughs> okay, so. This is all out you. Of, out of all the old shake and bake, great value, I'm telling you. Shore lunch is what you want. This That's what is, you might like to see? Yeah, this is the stuff. We got oven style, we got beer banner. I'm thinking the OG, I'm telling Dude, you. Dude, original you frying magic. I just got boxed. Absolutely boxed that one. We're getting both. That's gonna be the move, and we're gonna go ahead and make it look nice. You already oh. know the gas. This is legit gas, guys. This is legit fire, like legit. This stuff is legit, freaking legit. I, I think people got the idea, bud. Did they? Yeah. Ooh, what is this? The new Mountain Dew. I've never, I've never had one, but I heard they're fire. So oh, oh. we're gonna have to Frostbite. try it. Yeah. John is a big breakfast guy. He wants to make hash browns, even though his hash browns are mediocre. Um, I like the patties, but he likes the uh, the shredded ones. So that's the juice right there. I'm gonna chef those up real good. Oh god, yeah. So we are going to camp tonight. So we need something to eat tonight. What are you guys feeling for tonight, Brandon and Sam? I like brats. You and you I had like you had brats. I got brats. I got burgers. I got brat patties. All right, let's just do that. Do you do you need uh need buns. buns? Okay, we'll get buns, buns. before we leave. Yeah, true. I am buns. So the boys are picking up some buns. We got uh, hamburger buns for brat patties or for burgers, and we got brat hot dog buns. Your buns. buns we're good. We're, buns. we're loaded up on the buns. And could not forget the all coconut dreams. Big tip for you guys. These are fire. But we got everything here. Just the essentials for a couple days while we're camping, and we're gonna do some catch and cook. So that's hence why Brandon picked out some breading. But we're gonna take this back to Brandon's house now, and then I think the plan is to drive out to some private land that he has to do a little bit of camping. Because right now, I believe it's illegal to camp in like some public areas or something like that. So we're gonna check the rules and get that all taken care of. We'll see you guys at Brandon's crib. Oh. Oh wow, we got a wild slayman in the woods, in the Wisconsin woods. Look at this ugly kid. Oh man. All right, this looks like a good spot right here. So this is Brandon's freaking, one of Brandon's many acreages that he owns. And this is like in the middle of Wisconsin, private land, just like, I don't know, I feel like I'm in the wilderness. Well, I am in the wilderness right now, but this is crazy that this kid owns this much land. But this looks like a good flat spot to put down the old CVT tent. And it's also surrounded by all these woods, 360. So like the wind won't be that bad at night. We have sunlight that's going down very minimally. So I want to talk less right now and start setting this bad boy up because I'm not very good at it yet. So I'm just going to run a time lapse right now and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Alrighty folks, I got it all set up and that honestly like real time probably only took me around 10 minutes and I went extra bougie and put up these little spring rods right here, which you don't need to to sleep in. You can actually leave them down. I just did it because I thought it was like kind of like a cool effect. I mean, it just looks super sick. Gonna do a little 360 right here. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Look at this thing. I'm excited to do this first ever video in this, actually sleeping in it. And then also I have two things that hang right here. So when you're walking up the stairs right here, you can put your shoes in right here and they hang and they dry. But I'm just too lazy to put them up at the moment, but they literally just slide in. You put your shoes in there and then you continue to go up there. Take these bad boys off. What's up, Johnny boy? Hello. Dude, this thing is awesome in here. Oh, so we have three boys in here right now. You have all the room in the world. And then there's two windows up here that you can take off like that. So if you're in here with a lady, maybe on a little date, Brandon. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, you can stargaze at night with this thing. But yeah, I mean, look at this, dude. I'm, we're all just laying out in here. You know, you know, people can say what they want, but if you want to keep warm, you could actually fit three in here. Like you oh, could Oh, no, do it. we did here. Lay down, lay down. I can even put my legs in Oh, we don't smell your feet. Stinky Bro, chill, 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 chill. Chill. Oh, no. Oh. Yo, we I, have three people laying in here. You this is not three. bad. You want to sniff my athlete's foot? Yo, get out of here, bro. <laughs> get that foot out of here. But literally, you guys can sleep three people on this thing. Again, if you guys want one of these, this is the Mount Shasta version, and there's different additions you can do, like smaller ones for your car, bigger ones if you want to, you know, sleep like cheaper by the dozen style. Fabric-wise, I think I got the middleweight one because I want it to be good for 
for summer and winter but if you're strictly doing cold stuff you get the thickest one if you're strictly doing summer stuff you can get the thinnest one but i got the middle one because i like to dabble with everything i even installed a little led light bar that cvt was nice enough to send me i'll go get the thing to plug it in but basically we'll do that night we'll do that night that'll be a little secret for tonight climb on down sammy i'm getting hungry i think we need to start making dinner here oh God, what, is what? Threat, whose man's is this you're grill master right here I am Grill Master Brad. My name's Brandon, but everybody where I work calls me Brad. I, I don't even know how I got the nickname of Bradley, but I am Grill Master Brad. We're gonna fire up the grill, and I think we're gonna do some brat patties. I've got an interesting Ooh. flavor to show you both. You've probably never Yum. tried. I, I believe in you. All right. I, I promise. All right, we'll good. see, we'll see. So we got the tent all set up, gave you guys a little tour, and we are sleeping in this tonight. We're in the middle of Brandon's property in the middle of nowhere, as you guys can see. Gonna start cooking, we're gonna eat, and then probably call it early night, go to bed, and I don't know, I think tomorrow we're gonna start doing some fishing but stay tuned i'm gonna show you more of the tent at night you excited to put you excited to put some meat in your mouth well you're the one grilling it so of course you're excited i think i should be asking you are you excited <laughs> you know what you're doing no doubt well if i start the forest on fire boys it wasn't slamming that would be a bomb. it was big one i'm not i'm not too worried that'll put i mean i you. haven't washed it in a while but like i feel like it's still gonna do its purpose Woo! All right, let's open these babies up. What's for dinner, Bradley? I'm gonna put them on the pan. Okay, so check this out. Most of you have probably never seen these before. We get these up here in Wisconsin. Pizza flavored bratwurst patties. Brat patties are the move. Throw in a little pizza zing in there, so good. And then we're going to make Chef Boyardee big beefaroni, and we're gonna drizzle some of the sauce on here right over these pizza brat patties, dude. Oh, game over, game over. Buddy couldn't clean that either. I, I just didn't, it's yeah. fine, dude, it's fine. Woo. <laughs> oh yeah, right into the raw meat. You, you love to see it. So, do you want any oil or anything? Nah, we don't need it. These are greasy right. enough, man. Oh yeah, look at that. It just peels right off of there. Think we're gonna be able to fit all four on here? Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna be just fine. Woo! Yeah, you're gonna have to separate them just a little bit. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at this, look at that. Nothing better. Why do we come up here and see this kid, Sam? What, <laughs> who is this guy? Oh, I'm excited. All right, let's get the old Chef Boyardia rolling. Ooh. That's Look at that. Oh, baby, these are the megas. Let's go. <laughs> Sam's eating big noodle tonight. <laughs> Brandon's big noodle. Out here in the woods, Sam is just playing with his noodle. I don't know, you started a fire there. I don't know what that is. Get that off there. For tonight, we just wanted to make it nice and easy. It was our first time staying in here, so. We're gonna go ahead, finish up all this stuff. But yeah, basically, I'm from the channel NB Edits. Um, if you guys enjoy camping Link down and fishing below. video. Yeah, link there down are below. Homies. There are homies, Link man. down below. Uh, if you guys enjoy camping, fishing, uh, we're dabbling with some hunting videos and stuff like that too up here in Northern Wisco. Um, definitely check it out. Make sure to subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it if you guys came over. It's supposed I, to be a whole weekend, bro. You know, I thought I was Grill Master Brad, but I think Slayman just took over. This is good. I like this. You were too busy yapping away. I okay. No one had to tend to meat, man. Yeah, somebody had to put your ass to work. Look at that. Who's man? Ooh, That's what I'm talking about. Call me Gordon Ramsay. All right. Well, I think they're just about done. Go ahead and turn that down. Oh yeah, put that on there. Look at that, not bad. We're just gonna, we're gonna take some of this right here. You know what, if there's some noodles on there, I don't even care. You know what, just don't spill on my campsite. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's go. Oh that actually looks fine. my dude. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is a freaking meal right there. Woo! The sloppy Joe. Oh, it's hot. Mm. <laughs> I lost a noodle, but it's now big. Yep, dude. Straight fire. Absolutely fire. <laughs> Put that bad boy right there. Oh, that is hot. Wow. Wow. All right, look at that juicy, succulent thing. Okay. Cheers, boys. It's cooked perfectly. What do you think? It's like a flavor blast, isn't it? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> these things slap. Yo. Mm hmm. They're a mess, like they're a disaster, but thoughts? This pizza thing, bro, mint. I know, dude, it's Holy so hell. good. John, you need to try this. P.S. Sorry, boys, this is a little crunchy sound. A little ASMR for you. I gotta film John, but this is too good. I can't put it down, I'm gonna keep munching. This is Look at move. John, he's toasting the bun even a little bit, going for the Gordon power move. approach. That is a power move. Oof, big oof. Here we go. 
Whoa! Yeah. Bro! Pretty good or what? Oh, dang, bro. Oh my goodness. They smack, dude. Top five meals that we've had on this channel. Really? Yeah, top oh, five. Oh, God, yeah. Top five, easily. I mean, usually we're putting like possum in our mouth. So look how like easy beat, that was. But... You needed a oh. little pan or a skillet. You bring a pot with you to cook up your, or you just boil your soup or your ravioli or whatever. You got yourself a meal. Oh, yeah. We're wow. going to have to grab you some of these before you guys head back to South Dakota. Oh. We could load up on some and mm -hmm. toss them in the cooler. Absolutely need to load up on this and new Galaris spotted cow. Oh. It'll be good to go. Holy criminy. Those beefcakes slapped. Anyway, the boys right over here, we just got done eating. So we're just going to go hang out around here, explore the awesome wilderness. It is beautiful. The sun is setting. If not, I think the sun probably already set it, but just a beautiful night. Just look around here. Oh, my God. Anyway, we're just going to hang out, vibe, and uh, we'll see you guys when it's bedtime. Did you send her that? No, send her a picture of your face. Bro, oh, you guys Snapchatting girls up here? What the heck? Oh, lordy. Oh my goodness. He, he's sending hot girl Snapchats of just the blank oh, sky. Dude, like, you gotta flex on her with this tent. This tent slaps. Oh man. You gotta, you gotta send a video. I'll be honest, you guys look all snuggled up in here though. It's actually it's not that bad, dude. Oh, no, nah, I'm ready to What's cash out. Really? Except I forgot a pillow. That's kind of a problem. Rip. We're and you have to go back down did, there. What is this? Did thing? you bring your pillow pet? Because I forgot my pillow pet. Wow. We got the little this lantern. Right. I know, dude. So I thought I forgot the little power strip thingy that attaches to this. I ended up finding it, but by then I had the lantern out. And I'm just like, screw it. It's yeah. not using the lantern, but Tomorrow. next video. Yeah, next video. So we'll use this guy right here. What are we feeling for an alarm in the morning? Oh god, you're you're kind of the guide, so you let me know. I mean, it kind of just depends on how early we want to hit the lakes in the morning. Also, kind of depends on how early Nick can come up. I'm saying like 7:30, maybe oh, 8. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's not, I thought it was gonna be way worse than that. I, that's no, big well, let's get some sleep because we got a whole weekend of this ahead true. of us. Fishing, camping, out in the middle of goddamn nowhere. Yeah, so. that's true. All right, well let me just get up in here. That's my <laughs> sleeping bag right there, and Sam using it as a pillow. But I'm gonna get my sleeping bag out, and it's been a long day. Hey, Sam and me, we made the full send over here and... Hey, you want to know what our alarm is? What? This is going to be it. We had a long day today. We started out the day in Brookings, South Dakota. Made the send over here seven and a half hours. We got here, did a little bit of shopping, caught up with our buddy Brandon over here and ate some food. And now it's time to go to bed. It's actually pretty gosh darn cold outside. I mean, what would you say it is outside temperature wise? It is currently a whopping 35 degrees out. And within the next two hours, it's gonna get down into the 20s. So how does that make you feel about tonight? rip i didn't <laughs> uh, dude i didn't even bring the propane heater so that's gonna be tough but we got three dudes in here so i feel like our body heat yeah and like the snuggles and spoonage that we're okay. gonna do tonight okay we'll, we'll okay. be totally fine dude yeah that's... i think i'll just sleep on the ground where the bear can get me <laughs> where guys. the bear can get me he says <laughs> all right well uh, you guys get the point it's gonna get cold tonight and i don't know how this is gonna go but this is my first time sleeping in here and it's holding up absolutely great the material looks like it can withstand this cold weather so i'm not worried at all this is where we're gonna turn off the cameras though uh if a bear comes knocking on our window or something crazy happens i will turn on the camera and vlog it for you but for right now i'll see you guys tomorrow morning so <laughs> why you guys cut <laughs> <Good. laughs> bro you got it oh. Okay, first off, we got cold. No oh. pillow. Really hurts the freaking neck. <laughs> Look at these two. I wake no, up. No. I wake up and these two under the same blanket, bro. Brandon, how did you sleep? Good. It's just a little cold, but like, I think if I would have actually had a real sleeping bag, I would probably been better. I just grabbed like a blanket quick before we came out <laughs> here last night, and but we did it. That's all that matters. And now. Oh, oh, good oh. back crack right there. Now it's time to get ready and go fishing, dude. Well, it's the next morning. Um, as Brandon said, I mean, it got a little bit cold last night, but like, it's doable. I was very impressed with this tent, how it held up. Like, no condensation on like the sides. Like, it's not wet or anything like that. And this, we have a three, we're sleeping on a three inch mattress foam. And I mean, my butt's dry. You guys dry? Yeah. Everybody's dry, so I mean, as long as you guys are staying dry, that's major key. Oh yeah, it's just giving her a dangle outside. All right, that's where we're gonna end today's video. We did a little bit of camping. We drove all the way over here, and this was our first night camping in the all CVT tent with the boys. Slept three in this bad boy. It's like, I looked on the internet too. It says you can only sleep two in here with like a small dog or a small child. We slept that's three. Sam. Yeah. That's Sam. Yeah, we slept, <laughs> no, we slept three grown ass men in this thing. So I mean, I don't know. 
I'm really impressed with this thing, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Brandon, me, and Sam, and we're gonna go meet up with Nick right now, and we're gonna start our northern Wisconsin fishing adventure, which I'm super pumped about. Uh, hoping to catch some PBs, maybe, some big walleyes, and you know, whatever else bites, bites. So stay tuned for the series. You guys are not going to miss it, and I mean, it's, it's gonna be great, so you guys just keep watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.